getting back to work this week. Ashley started working on our stairs. Is it? <laughs> 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 yeah. We yeah. are working on stairs. It's a little bit different than doing it from wood, doing it from metal. Yeah. The weather in Mongolia has been really crazy. It was really hot and then it was really raining non-stop for a yeah. few days. Today is a bit sketchy as well. It's raining and then stopping and then raining again. We're trying to start at least get as much done today as we can, which I don't think it's going to happen, but <laughs> we'll see with the weather. Yeah, it's changing all the time. So. Yeah. But we only have three days to get this done, so we want to crack on as soon as we can. Tomorrow, once we start welding everything into place, we need to clean it and spray it and get it all done. Yeah. As we haven't worked on this for a few days, the rust is all back, so we're going to have to clean it all over again, which is all fun. Let me show you what the plan is for the steps. Yes. How we put it together. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna paint. <laughs> You're gonna paint. It's the pink. <laughs> Daddy? Daddy? Yeah, what? What do we, Daddy? I'm gonna talk to the camera. Camera? Yeah. Camera. Last week we were able to finish off the framing, this week we're cracking on with the staircase. In the last episode I explained to you that I would give you more information about how we're going to build a steel frame as it's slightly different from doing it from wood. When you do it from wood you would do a concrete slab at the bottom, then build the stringers. It would have the run and the rise all the way down, that's what they call a stringer, and that stringer would attach to the board that would then sit on top of the concrete. But because we're doing it from steel, we can't make stringers like that. We're gonna actually put in bars underground and we're gonna concrete over it. That's why I have actually dug out a channel all the way around. We've worked out exactly what our run is. Our run is gonna be 32 and a half centimeters. Our rise, which is gonna be the step, is gonna be 15. We can't build the stringers all at once, so we have to build each staircase. We're gonna have four staircases. It's gonna be interesting. We haven't done this before. We have the plan, we know what to do. My welding has got a little bit better, so it should be fine. We wanna crack on, we at least wanna get the bottom section done today, and then tomorrow we can come up. We're gonna to have to tag team, me and Zula, and get as many pieces cut while I'm welding it all in. By the end of this video, we will have everything on here done and painted and looking perfect. Let's crack on and get this bottom section done. Look, one new, one old. <laughs> one new, one old. So because this um, ground actually slopes down, we can't do one piece around. It has yeah. to be three different levels. Yeah, exactly. Our rise is 15, we're gonna have four steps from the top of this one to the top of the posts it needs to be 90 centimeters. Okay. 90 centimeters, so we mark off that, and on the next one we go down six centimeters because of the pole, and then we can layer those poles, and then we go another six, so we 12, so we have three levels. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> we, okay. we, we make it work. Yeah. I'll explain. I trust you, babe. Yeah, I'll explain <laughs> as we do it. The reason we're putting this on first, when we actually start to build our stringers, which are going to be 32 and a half out, we're going to have a pole which is going to be welded to this one. So eventually all the steps are going to be supported by this pole, which is then going to be covered in concrete, which is going to make it safe for us to run up and down the stairs as much as we like. Got it tacked into place, but it's starting to rain again. Welding in the rain is not a good idea. Finally, we can carry on this morning. We tried yesterday, but then it just started raining and then it got too late. But anyway, we're picking this up early today. At least it's beautiful day. Yeah, today. beautiful day, not so hot. We're just gonna push on the whole day and get these stairs done. So I need to clean off that first piece first. We can weld in the base. Yep. And once we have the base welded in, we can then work out exactly how many pieces we need for the rise and for the run. And nice. then just, then, fun? then we're gonna do a bit <laughs> of tag teaming. I'm gonna cut the metal, Zulu's gonna clean the metal while I'm welding the metal. Yep. We, I, we will find a we'll way, try. <laughs> we'll try. So hopefully we're gonna go just piece by piece, get it all done. 
today. Yeah. Thank you for you guys who actually told me that this is soapstone. Really appreciate it. But it's a bit annoying because it's a little bit thick, so <laughs> you can't get a perfect line. But anyway. <laughs> At least it works. At least it works, but it's annoying. Do the rise at 17.5. Yeah. It'll be four steps and it'll be a 20 centimeter rise on the bottom step. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. We got this bottom part welded in. We've actually changed our plan a little bit. We didn't want the front step to be so high. Instead of doing a 15 centimeter rise on the step, we're going to do a 17.5, which works out. It's just the placement of the how are we going to place the deck boards? Mm -hmm. It's going to be on top instead of under, which is fine, perfectly yeah. fine. That means our lowest step will be a little bit lower, which will look better. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we need to go and grind off all the metal, mm. cut pieces, and then we can weld it into place. Yes. So this is what takes a long time, is to grind off all the rust before we cut it up. Wow, it's a big job, hey baby. <laughs> oh, and the little... I can't hold the camera really anymore. And the little metal things shoot out into everything. So we got the first, I don't know what you call it, but the ledger board for the first step. The only thing to take into consideration when you're doing the steps, it's a little bit different from here because this is 15 and a half centimeters. The reason we want, it's 15 and a half centimeters is actually there's gonna be a two centimeter joist on top here, then a two and a half centimeter board. This one is a little bit different. Then we go down and we go down. The height on this one and the height on these ones are slightly different. So that you just need to take into consideration. Not at all lucky with the weather. Of course, it started raining just as we started to tack on the step and we couldn't just drop it. We had to finish it off. So we were welding a little bit in the rain, which is super dangerous, but we got everything just tacked in. It's in place. And now we just wait for the rain to stop and then we can continue. We have to run to the woodshed and get all the poles inside because if we can't continue welding today they will all rust by tomorrow which will be a pain because it took us two and a half hours yes Oscar is coming <laughs> yeah we have this joke because every time Zula's brothers comes it rains <laughs> so it started raining and the first thing we looked at each other it says I wonder if Ochiko's coming yes and they arrived at the same time yeah so <laughs> he, he hates it but it's very funny yeah exactly <laughs> Yeah. Why? Okay. We pick this up when it stops raining. Yeah. Yeah. First step is 90% done. <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't say 100% done because we're going to have oh, yeah. uh, four by twos. We're going to have four by twos kind of crossing here. Four of them here, four of them over there. Then we're completely done. I just feel that we're going really slowly today. Why? We're doing our best. Yeah, we're doing our best. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Let's see how much we can get done. It looks like we're probably going to be doing steps Today. tomorrow morning as well. Yeah, exactly. Continue Whew. tomorrow. Continue tomorrow. To be continued. And then we'll probably some stuff on the basketball court. Yeah. Oh, tomorrow, yeah. Yeah. Zulu's brother's coming. They're going to work on the basketball court this weekend. Yeah. But we want to get this front this at least get this front section finished by the end of this week 
That's the plan. <laughs> yeah. Today it was raining during the night. The weather said it was going to rain all day, but you can never trust the weather in Mongolia. You just, <laughs> it just changes all the time. It has dried out, the sun has come out. It might rain again a bit later, but we're cracking you on. never know. <laughs> we're cracking on. But we're just going to continue, see how much we can get done today. Yeah. My welding is on point today. I'm really, really happy. Starting to really enjoy it. It's getting Good. there. Hopefully looks we can better. looks better. <laughs> <laughs> but now that we have the two steps done, it's easy for you guys to see exactly what we did using the two six by sixes and three six by sixes on the side, and then we did ah. these four by twos cross beams in the middle. And this these joists are 30 centimeters apart, which is going to be very, very stable. The floor is not going to bounce around. So we have the next two to do, clean everything off concrete this all up and then we can start cleaning this off painting it and putting the joists and then this section is done mm -hmm. Woo! and then we can work on the bigger ones yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's fun The reason we've been pushing so much to get this part done today so that we can pour the concrete. Actually, we have a concrete truck coming with eight cubic meters of concrete and we're gonna pour the slab for our basketball court. Zula's brother and dad have been working on leveling out everything, getting it ready for the concrete. If there's some concrete left over, we're gonna pour it into the base. We're just waiting for the truck and we're gonna pour a concrete slab and then clean this up tomorrow and get it all done. I'm very proud of my wife. She's been working so, so hard this time. Tima! <laughs> Not just the camera lady, she's actually getting her hands dirty. But fantastic, the whole family's working really hard this weekend. Ta-da! Does it work? <laughs> yes, it's working. So they're working over there, getting everything ready for the concrete truck. So I've got this rebar wire. It's like a fence wire that's gonna sit inside the concrete. What Zula's dad and brother have been working on. They've taken, they've <laughs> loaned some of our six by six pipes and they've run it across on the one side. They've run it across in the middle and across here so that they can take this part here, which they have checked that this is level, that is level all the way down. When the concrete truck comes, which is coming now, it's gonna start pouring in here and we can start shoveling it all the way and we can use this one to trowel all the way across so we know that we get it level to the other side and then we will do the other side and we'll trowel all the way there and hopefully we'll have an okay an okay platform for the basketball but they've done a fantastic job you know mongolian summers are so short you need to pack in as much as you can while you can so the fact that they were helping out with this project at the same time is fantastic. We haven't had a concrete truck since we did the foundation for the greenhouse. Glad we're not doing this by hand. <laughs> this, is, this is a lot of concrete. Hopefully a cube will be enough. We also have a square that we've made so that we can put the basketball net secure level on top of that. So once we pull the concrete, we're gonna pull that one and we're gonna pull the concrete for the footings, for the steps. Okay. Concrete time. It was close. Woo, really close. 
avoiding the grass. <laughs> Absolute disaster. It is pouring down, thunder going on our newly poured concrete pad. Yesterday was an absolute disaster of a night. It came down, it poured so heavy last night we misread the weather so badly it poured so heavily last night we saw pictures on facebook where the roads had turned into rivers the cars were just flowing down it was an absolute disaster we jumped out here when the rain stopped we put as much concrete down we tried to level it out as best we can in the dark it was still drizzling yeah but we saved some of the concrete but it's not at all perfect and we were slightly short on the concrete plus we lost some concrete Anyway, these things happen. We've got to fix it. Today we got a concrete mixer with some extra gravel and sand and concrete bags because the big concrete trucks, they won't come for such a small amount of concrete. So we have to mix all that up. We still have to pour the... <laughs> She's naked enough. <laughs> we still have to pour the forms and the stairs and grind it off. So it's going to be a really, really busy day. And... It's the last day that we can kind of do this work until next week. So we crack on, we do as much as we can. Now we just need to fix it. Work, work. <laughs> Not the work. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a busy day. But basically, we got the concrete mixer right up to the form. We try to fill up everything. Once we at least get the concrete pad down, we will do a top coat of concrete next week and flatten it all out so it'll work. What a mess. But we keep going. You live and you learn. Yay. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Absolutely covered in concrete. Yeah. Disaster averted. Yeah. We finally got the concrete poured yeah. on the basketball court, so that is all covered up. Of course, we need to do a nice little top coat so that we can flatten everything off. Got the concrete under the stairs yeah. on the deck. That's all done. Didn't get time to grind everything off and paint it, but we'll have to pick that up tomorrow. But wow, next time. <laughs> next time. Yeah. Guys. We're going to end the video here. Thank you so much for following along us mm. on this journey. Yeah. Plenty more work to come this summer. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah. Good night. Bye. Bye. -bye.